So the Colossus Spy of Us just came out of theaters and I was a little bit all white. Still, I was a little bit information about this film and to believe me, it was a crazy, a crazy wide for this film and it's just wrong about this movie and ends like that and to be fair we're just gonna get to that but the thing is it's just the most appealing or compelling or just really most brutal film I've ever seen not just the entirety the plot point but one the other it's just freaking despair of every single time it's like okay we're moving on to the next scene just because of it but we got it every single time, it's just more information about it, and it's just like that, and I take it back. And, to be fair, it looks good, and I won't spoil it, but a little bit, but that's the, the, that's the deal. So, believe me, I like the good acting, the score, the animation goes hard, the, the web pop culture references, and every single references in this movie. Of course, I really might say a bunch of references for for a movie of references for every single time. It's like, okay, wow, that's the references. That's nostalgia, but believe me, in like Super Mario Bros. movie, for example, just, we got this world, like, there's a lot of, like, references for the base on the Mario games, and just, that's nostalgia. But, it makes sense, but it's literally the exact same nostalgia as that, but of course, it's just more like Ability you might say for this one, but and then I might say that in not only this movie is like the one time like 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 one like two hours and twenty minutes long. It's just it's just not that bad. as like not that bad. Uh, um, not bad. Not that bad. One time, it's literally the exact same one time as the Fast and Furious X that it's literally the exact same one time if i'm wrong but it's just it's just that's what it is it's just that's the way it is and now that's just always always what it is so it's just yeah it's just noticeable what it is so i really might say at least as to it for no reason about it so i guess i might say give a slice of pizza or just nothing else or more less than powerful what it is so at this. Now, I hate it the most, I don't even didn't like this film, was the the twist the twist villain, which is dumb and stupid, and of course is the um Spider-Man 99. It was so dumb and stupid that that believe me it was he I think this is th I think I think he was the twist villain all along after I just watched the Fisher trailer, if I'm wrong. But I think he was a twist villain. And I was right the whole time. It was like I knew it. And like I freaking knew it. They're doing this plan, and now they're sneaking around, do some shit. It's literally the exact same movie as the last review that I just reviewed. But it's literally the exact same thing. But then it's just I don't even like the second and third act, which is dumb and stupid. And and then I really hate the most, and I really hate the ending. That. Which is dumb and stupid, but that is of course, um, another Miles Morales and another Miles Morales. There's two Miles Morales. It's more like, it's more like Lightyear that I just talked about last year. And then Lego Movie 2, the second part. It's literally the exact same scene. Why should you put the exact same scene as that? Like, there's ain't no way you could put that scene and put it into it. It's just so dumb and stupid, like, oh my goodness, it's just, for God's sake, just, for God's sake, just do it, or do it, or if you don't. It's just so embarrassing, and just so annoying for that one, and to be fair, it's just another, uh, slash, uh, thing, uh, human, a uh, good guy, or a good guy, and a good, good guy, bad guy, if I'm correct, that's just, that's the way it is. It's just, it's just, it's just literally the exact same thing. And also the movie ends. And the movie ends on a cliffhanger, which just leads us to the, the third movie, which is called Beyond the Spyverse. And I was like, oh, which is, which is like, not that bad, which is like, it's not even not that bad, longest year. It's like, 
thank God, it's like, no more one year, which is good, because one year is just too long, and I regret that, it's like, nine months, I take it, whatever, it's, it's, and believe me, it's a little bit reminds me of, it's a little bit reminds me of this, it's a little bit reminds me of this, and it reminds me of the Beast of Freaks episode 9, and if I'm correct, and I was like, are you son of a bitch? Are you just literally put the exact same thing? Huh? That's it. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. So what do I think about this movie? It was good. It was not that bad. I don't say I hate it or dislike it. I was having a great time. I liked the first act. It was alright. It was good. It really fits the story. I really like the fits the story of like, like. The emotional core of it is just so sad for the scene, and I really hate the second and third act, and it's just so dumb and stupid, and by the way, it's just, it's just, it's just dumb, and it's just, I really hate it. So, yeah, and believe me, I really hate, I really hate that twist of this movie, and for that case, it's just, let's just put, let's just put Elisa to a sequel. It just, that's just not what they were, and just, go in there and just talk about it in the first place it's just long in the cinematic universe so i give it this movie a 9 out of 10 it was good but <sighs> overall there's no post credit scene and uh that's about it Bye. And Sunny. F this cliffhanger. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield.